Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this series of Google map of today's video, we are going to draw a polyline inside our map. You can see this is the output of our today's video. I'll instruct you all the steps in this video, how you can create this type of polyline in the Google map. And let's start the complete video and learn the new feature of the Google map. Let's continue the today's video. You can see. This is the output of previous video that we have show the user current location by clicking this button. If user click this button, it gets its current location. In today's video, you can see is in the demo. We are going to draw a polyline for that. Let's create the let's create the separate file Google Map polyline dot dot. And let's create the stateful widget and give the name Google Map polyline and replace this placeholder with scaffold and after that let's define this function in main dot dot and save it and first let's integrate the google map in our system first that we have already done in our previous video i'll copy this from here and paste it here is the google map I'll copy this all and paste it inside the scaffold and import the Google map package and uh, we didn't need this remove this and we have also copy the marker and current location and paste it here we didn't need this controller and I have uncommend this as well. Remove the const keyboard. You can see for the complete knowledge of Google Map, you can follow my playlist. I have already posted the three video. First, I have posted the how to integrate Google Maps. Second, add the custom marker, and third video is show the user current location. In fourth video, we are going to draw a polyline and i have also instructed you how you can create the api key a developer account for the google map you need to enable the place api map sdk for android and the map sdk for ios for this video you can also need to enable the direction api that i have already instructed in my first video if you have any problem to enable this you can watch my first video in my playlist after that we have continued the today's video for polyline first we set the polyline to draw on the map. For that, we use the final keyword to set the polyline inside this polyline. And I have give the name. After we have set the polyline, we have created the list, list of points that define the polyline. For that, we have used the list inside this lat long. And I have give the point on map. Inside this list, you need to provide the point that you are going to display in the polyline for that go to the google line and just click anywhere just like i'm going to click here after you have click on any point you you have got the latitude and longitude and you have provide this latitude and longitude inside this list i have already collect this point then i'll paste it here you can provide any number of point as far as your requirement or how many distance you can create the polyline. I'll provide one, two, three, four, five, six polyline. After that, let initialize it. Now, after initializing, we have added the marker and polyline points. For that, we use the for loop and I'll define one int character inside in starting from the zero index. It means first index in this list and end with the point on map dot length. End with the length of the point on the map. If here is the only two point, then it's create the only two point. And if there is more point, it's create the more. And after that, we have increased the number one by one. After that, we have add a marker at edge position or at edge point. For that, here is the marker. We have already defined it. And marker dot add. Inside this, we have used the marker. And we have provide the unique ID for age marker. For that, we have give i dot to string. This 
i from here is time the unique id for is marker and we have also provide the position this position is from point of the map and we have also provide the some info you can provide any info inside this that is the two parameter inside this info window one is the title and another is snap it after that we have defined the icon and inside this icon we have defined the default marker icon after this all we have connect all the polyline that we have defined we have used the polyline that we have created here and dot add polyline polyline id we have just provide id point of this polyline is from point of the map and last the color of the polyline is colors dot blue and i think all is completed now only one things that require is we need to define this polyline inside the google map after that save it and restart the app we have successfully draw a polyline inside our google map you can just remove any point you can see we have just used three point and the polyline is like this and we have used all the point and polyline is like this by this way you can create the static polyline in google map in upcoming video we have create the dynamic polyline with the user live location by the user plotter polyline point package okay bye bye stay tuned for the upcoming video